This class is called Primitive Technology. And it's a course that teaches the students how to solve problems in the way their ancestors solved problems in, in, in prehistoric times. Uh, these are the, the uh, solutions to problems that got them through the Ice Age and, and the reason we're here. I love this class because it's all about like what you're trying to figure out in anthropology. So you're trying to figure out what people were doing and then look at you know, what kind of residues that would leave behind. A class like this lets you move past the theor theoretical basis that these papers are based on um, and really apply a, a practical knowledge and, and you, could, you learn how to do these techniques, you learn how to create the, uh, the tools and the weapons and you learn how they're applied. Well today the students are testing whether these spear throwers, these uh, tools for launching spears at a greater distance than would otherwise be possible, they're testing whether these spear throwers work. Now I've given them some basic designs, I, I didn't provide them with you know, detailed drawings or anything, I just showed them how to make one and their job was to imitate me and create their own designs. And so you know, there's a little bit of creativity here and, and we got to see how, what variations on the designs worked and which variations on the designs didn't work. This is not the typical kind of curriculum you find at a university. It's ironic because you know here's a, a campus renowned for science, pushing the frontiers of, of computer science and medical science, all this stuff. This primitive technology, this is the origins of science. It's something I wish every college class could do, uh, especially as a history major, I understand you can't really do that. It's a lot of papers, a lot of reading. That's what I like about archaeology and anthropology as a whole. It's kind of feels like hands-on history. You could actually go out and do these things. I like to think that when they complete the class, they see the, the natural world differently. They see with a different set of eyes at the end of the semester. And that, that to me is the most gratifying experience as an educator, is that I've changed the way they see the world.